Hello everyone, Eric Lima here. You're watching another episode of my YouTube vlog of 2018, the second chapter in channel of my original vlog, The People's Lima TPL. This is um, EML77 TV. You're watching episode 138. How's everyone doing today? Hope everyone is having a wonderful, wonderful day. And big news from my workplace at the Dartmouth Mall. Um, Five Below, which will be replacing the Ruby Tuesday building will be opened up November 2nd. That's the grand opening in time for the holidays. So if you um, are on a tight budget for the holiday season and you can't afford a whole lot, well, Five Below is a good place to start for you. It's a good starting point when it comes to Christmas shopping as well. Um, some big news. Toys R Us may be making a comeback. Now, they're, they're going to be rebranded in a way. Um... According to um, USA Today and Wall Street Journal, they may be um, going to be rebranded as Jeffrey's Toy Box. So, uh, am I? Ex yeah, well, we're pretty excited about that. Let's see what what kind of uh, you know rebranding they're going to do. What appeals to the public nowadays? And uh, they they all stores were closed by the end of June um, this year, and we're talking July, August, September. And now it's October. Oh, you're talking about three months later, boom, three, four months later, boom, it's it's back. And hopefully, they want to get things opened up for the holiday season again. That's a good way to come back. And, uh, well, we'll see what happens. You know, Toys R Us was a big, big thing in the 80s and 90s and, and in, in the millennium. But, uh, you know, things have happened and everything else. It's going to be a little bit cra on the crazy side. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. If they do come back and hopefully they rebrand everything and... Make everything brand new, you know. I like to see it like it's like it's Jeffrey's Toy Box. That's would be a pretty good name for it, you know. Is that Toys R Us? Hey, let's go stop by Jeffrey's, you know. <laughs> and then people put Jeffrey the Butler from Fresh Prince up there. Oh, sir. hey, welcome to Jeffrey's Toy Box, sir. Look inside, sir. You know, it'd be really funny. <laughs> and have Will Smith or Alfonso Ribello, uh, uh, Rebello, R R Ribero. Afonso Ribeiro, duh, uh, come back as Will and Carlton. Will, I want the next Power Ranger toy or something. It'd be hilarious. I, I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. Well, yeah, Jeffrey's Toy Box will be the new name, I think, unless uh, they decide to go back to Toys R Us. But some of the people who are still working for Toys R Us, they're, they're getting trying to get things done, and uh, it's a little bit on the crazy side. So we'll see what happens. They're ironing out details. See what happens. Hopefully, they get it together by the holiday season. I'm really excited about it, and um, like I said, I missed going to Toys R Us to see to check out the new Nintendo, um, new Power Rangers uh, season toys. So we'll see. It's a very, very big deal. So uh, in a way, it's making a comeback under a new name, new brand. Let's see what happens. Let's see what we'll see what happens down the road. The future is bright. Ah, uh, boy, yeah, I've been fighting. A co I fought a code uh, from the uh, tail end of the weekend to the first couple days of the week, so it's like one of those things where you just, well, I see it this way, you know what I mean, I just, uh, you know, it has been a weird situation, to be honest with you, and just, you know, I, you know, it has been, you know, it's been pretty quick, we're halfway through the week, though, it is the first week of October, on top of everything else, and, uh, whew, and the weather's been changing a lot, too, and that's one of the reasons why I'm probably caught a cold and all that. Um, I know there's a few new games out for the Nintendo Switch. I'll probably get them when I get paid this Friday. Um, a lot's going down. The Super, the Super Showdown. I'm going to make my picks and predictions there. I'm probably going to do it Friday. Friday will be pick. Now, for those of us here in the States, it's, um, it's going to be on at 5 o'clock in the morning Eastern Time here in the States. So, it's going to be really, 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 really insane. To say the least, and that means us us uh, East Coasters will have to wake up. Uh, I'm gonna get my alarm clock set up for um, for that on this Saturday. That's the only Saturday morning I will get up early, even though cause I'm used to it. For one and two, I have this Saturday off, so I have Saturdays off. So this is gonna be um, gonna be very interesting to say the least. And so that will be so. It will be this. It will be, um, let's see, the matches. Um, the uh, WWE Championship match will be on you know, eight. No qualification, no count out. Uh, AJ Styles defense against Samoa Joe. 
Um, Triple H Undertaker for the last time, but it seems like uh, Shawn Michaels will be in Triple H's corner. Under uh, King will be in Undertaker's corner, so it'll be very interesting to see what happens in that situation. Women's SmackDown Live Women's Championship on the line as Becky Lynch defends against Charlotte in a rematch. Um, Six woman tag match as uh, as Ronda Rousey, the women's champ, teams up with the Bellas against uh, the Riot Squad. And then you've got the women's tag match over at SmackDown Live. Asuka and Naomi to team up against, oh, I call I call the team Asuka and Naomi the Empresses of Glow. Uh, to go up against the Iconics um, in their home, sta- home country, that would be uh, Billy Kay and Peyton Royce. Daniel Bryan and Miz, number one contenders match for the uh, WWE Championship. It'll be a heck of a matchup indeed. So those are the matches so far on the card. Unless I, oh, I, oh, yeah, that's right. oh, that's right, the Shield go up against Braun Strowman, Dolph, and the tag team champions of Raw, uh, Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre. So I'll, I'll give you the card rundown again next time I make the predict, predicts and predictions. Be, um, be well aware of that. So that's it. That's all the time we have here. It's, it's a little short episode. I know I've not... I know the last few episodes I did some uh, get these thumbs. Hopefully, I go back to the Super Mario Maker edition when I when I decide to do that. And uh, hopefully, you guys. Hopefully, if you guys want to see more game show playing, I'm probably I'll be having more happy to do that for you. It'll be totally exciting. But you know, right now, Red Sox are in the playoffs. Still, they'll await the winner of the Yankees Oakland game tonight. That's what they're playing. And Friday, they'll be facing each other and face off. So. Uh, don't know who I want to win on that one, and because A's have been very, very good, and and I'm sure Oakland, if they play the Red Sox, would probably throw out Sean Mane again because he pitched a no hitter against us early in the season. I'll tell you what, the Red Sox ended up with 108 wins on the season, which is and 54 losses. Not bad, not you know. It, I'll tell you what, this is probably one of the best seasons the Red Sox had since 2004. You know, do I consider this team the greatest ever? Well, in regular season, yes, but when it comes to the playoffs, I have to go for the 2004 team. Imagine if like some of the players from 2014 meshed up with the two, some of the players from 2018. That could be an awesome combination, you know. Who knows what happens? So, anyways, so hopefully the Red Sox advance far in the playoffs. I know it's going to be tough challenges, roads to get there. Houston, Cleveland, two tough teams. They're going to go at it in the, AL, uh, in the ALDS as well. I think it's going to be a dogfight between those two teams. But if the Red Sox do not advance, I'm I'm going I'm seeing I'm hoping Cleveland, you know, they're due. For a World Series run, they're due to capture a World Series title. That's what I'm hoping. You know, um, uh, Cleveland Browns finally got themselves a win and all that, and then you got the the Cavaliers finally won themselves an NBA title. And you know, Cleveland, I'm, I like to see Cleveland. You know, Houston's the defending World Champs. They'll repeat. The Rockies beat the Cubs, so the Cubs are going home, and the Rockies, I think, have to face the Dodgers once again in a rematch. So be a West rematch down there. When the Dodgers face the Braves, who, Rockies and Brewers, I, I, somebody help me out with that in the comments, please. Uh, I appreciate that. I forget now who, who, who we face the Brewers or the Dodgers. Who, who the Rockies face the Brewers or the Dodgers? I don't know. All I know is the Rockies are in the division series as well. So, it'd be very interesting to see what happens tonight. Um, Two hundred five live won't be able to watch that. I'll be at rehearsal. NXT and the Mayon Classics on tonight. As well on the WWE Network, I'm looking forward to that. I'll probably go home and watch all that, and I'll probably watch the 205 live after the main Young Classic, and uh, like I usually do. So that's it. So so lots going on. Um, the holiday season's almost coming. I think usually after Halloween, that's where the ho- to me that's where the holiday season kicks off. Uh, my sister's getting married a couple weeks on, from this Saturday. Can't wait for that. Um, it'll be very interesting to see what happens. Let me sit up straight because I'm slacking in the chair. Sorry about that. And um, we'll see, uh, like I said, a lot of things going down, a lot of things happening. I'm looking forward to see seeing what will occur for the next three, for the final three months of the year, of course. It's been a crazy, crazy, crazy year. It's been insane, I tell you. It's been nuts. A lot of things going down. A lot of things were supposed to happen. A lot of things did not. And so it's like, oh, boy. Somebody help me here, please, lads. You feel like going, oh, my God. You know what I'm saying? It's a little insane. All right. Uh, That's all the time we have on the show today. And I hope you guys tuned in. Hope you guys, um, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up or something like that. You want to see more videos. There's a bell there to ring in to 
ring in for more. And uh, those who I blocked, I'm sorry, but you know, uh, I know you guys, you know, the, the people I blocked were trolling on my videos from uh, for, for two years ago of trolling and accused me, me of something. That's why, you know, unless you have something to talk about my video uh, on, uh, don't expect. Um, don't expect me to accept your comments unless uh, it's actually it refers to the video. Uh, I don't care about the quality of the video, the quantity, the way I pre present the video, and all that. And to be honest with you, I'm just doing this for fun, and that's all there is to it. So I know a lot of people hate on that, but you know what? Too bad. I'm you know I'm not here to be a Hollywood. You know I'm not here to uh, you know do anything top notch. I'm just this is who I am. This is what I do. All right, so I do appreciate that coming in. So remember, next episode, I'll be talking about the uh, Super Showdown. Make the predictions there. All right, I'll see you guys later. Have a wonderful night, and uh, God bless.